Hello and welcome back to Lessons with Lydia. We have a new episode for you today and it's going to be seven hacks or how-tos on how to look chic this autumn winter. So in this video I will be sharing my personal tips of how I get dressed and I think these are useful ones that you could definitely easily and quite a lot of them for free as well inject into your wardrobe of course these are my opinions we all have varying opinions so just bear that in mind um, not everything i say is a fact in fact nothing i say is a fact it's just my opinion but these are the tips um, that i use to getting ready looking chic in autumn winter so tip number one is to invest in a smart straight coat and a smart straight coat doesn't have to be a smart coat. Um, you don't have to wear it in that sense, but I think everything you wear it with, it instantly makes look chic. So for example, you could wear the smart straight coat with a pair of trainers and a jogging suit and then put that coat on and it instantly just completely elevates it and transforms the outfit from a really casual look into something really sleek and smart. And then again, that carries you right through to every day. You can dress that right up. You could put a pair of heels with that. You could wear it out in the evening or you could wear it in the daytime with a really nice pair of boots. It really is a go-to staple essential coat. I'll link a few of my favorites in the description box, but I have a few variants of this. I think go off the color that you think suits you the most. Um, I have a navy one that I really love from Zara a few years ago, and I would highly recommend navy. I think it's a nice all-rounder for a lot of people, or like a beige camel, but find your shade of beige and camel. I know there are a lot of shades out there like that that don't suit me. So go um, into store, hold it up next to your face, maybe order one and you could return it if it's not the right color, but really hone in on that color and get a smart straight coat because I really think they completely elevate your wardrobe. My next tip is to build your base layers. So for this, I mean those real core essentials that you can turn to and it will pull the outfit together. It will be the glue. These are actually things that we may not want to spend money on. It's not something that your eyes drawn to like a magpie, but these are the glue that holds it together and the real core. And for me, these base layers for autumn winter include a white t-shirt. I definitely think you can still wear one of those in autumn, layered up looks perfect, or in the evening with a blazer. A white shirt like the one I'm wearing today, just a proper crisp button down shirt. This one is from New Inn. Our cat do some great ones. Uniqlo do some great ones because I think um, again, I'll link my favorites of these down below. I would say a round neck uh, merino sweater. I actually have a navy and a black and I wear them all the time and I have done for years. I've had, I'm on my second one of the black merino because they're just so useful. They're a great base layer and perfect for the evening. Um, if you're kind of in a rut and what stuck on what to wear, of just a really simple round neck, fine merino jumper it works so nicely with lots of jewelry and a blazer. So definitely one of those. And then I would say a fine knit polo neck a jumper that you could use as a layering piece. You can wear these. This is a really great tip as well, um, talking about these base layers that bring everything together. This is a really nice one to get your wear out of and utilize things like summer dresses. You can put um, a fine knit polo underneath and it instantly makes it a lot more wintry and then pair that with some chunky boots. Um, and again, you've got complete winter's look there. So those for me are some key base layers. Um, I would say for trousers, things like straight black trousers, like a straight black crop trouser, and maybe one in gray or navy as well. Gray, navy, camel, something of a neutral um, color palette to really cement everything together. So those for me, base layers is a really good way to look chic and it stops you look seeming messy because it's so classic and crisp and clean. So tip number three is Jewelry. Jewelry for me, obviously, as we know, is a real icing on the cake. No, it's not even like icing on the cake. It is the bun of the cake. It is the main bit of the cake. I think your outfit doesn't look anything until you've got your jewelry on. To me, it's just 
as natural as brushing my hair. It just completes the look and cements the outfit together. So jewelry, for example, some really nice gold earrings. For me, I choose gold, but if you prefer silver or silver that suits you better, then go for that. But for me, it's a really nice solid pair of gold earrings that both work for night, um, so not maybe too small or daytimey, but also look really nice and stand out in the daytime. And of course they are from my collection with North School, and these are the Ridge earrings. What I love about these is that they're chunky enough that they kind of stand out, and they're quite striking, but also they blend into the outfit. You can still wear them layered up with necklaces and other gold jewelry and it doesn't look over the top. So I think a really nice solid pair of gold earrings. And again, in autumn, you're often wearing a big coat. So it's nice to have a pair of earrings or some jewellery on show because probably the rest of your outfit is covered. I'd also invest in a chain necklace. So this is our Anfa chain necklace and this is a really nice layering piece. You can wear it really simply on its own as I was talking about with those base layers, a nice merino jumper with this over the top looks really chic or you can wear it layered as I'm doing. This is the Zvina Lariat that we have, the vegan pearl necklace with the bar at the end. So these two layered together look really nice and just give, you know, this is just a plain white shirt. If I took away all the jewelry, um, it would look a little bit boring and plain, but I've really injected my personality with the jewelry. And like I say, jewelry is something I think that really stands out in autumn winter especially I think if you're wearing a lot of knitwear knitwear can often be quite plain so it's really nice to layer up that jewelry with it and it just injects your personality onto a really simple classic outfit also whilst we are on jewelry I'll talk about my rings so I'm wearing the rattan ring on this hand and then the double zagora ring on this one bracelets I'm wearing the cherry tea bar and then the Racine chain bracelet so those two again really nice if you've just got a plain sleeve on to layer over the top if you've got a coat on again your jewelry bracelets rings necklaces are probably all you're going to see from that so another way that you can look chic in autumn is through your footwear and this is because again like I was saying you can pretty much only see your shoes in autumn winter when you're out and about you've got your coat on and your shoes so I think footwear is a really key place to invest in and find please find a pair that's comfortable because what will happen is you'll end up gravitating back to ones that you got five years ago that are really scruffy that just have had their day and you'll keep wearing those just because they're comfortable so if you're going to invest in a new pair make them a comfortable pair I think something chic plain not too fussy I recently got my over the knee ones from Zara which I love and what I really like about them is that they're quite simple there's no fuss or frills with them they're just a really plain boot that go with so much in my wardrobe so I think make sure you invest in footwear I would say for me anyway my wardrobe a pair of black boots really does go with everything and completely bring the outfit together it's a bit of a make or break piece to the outfit I would say so what I would do is go into your wardrobe figure out what you have most of is it trousers is it skirts Think about the style of boots you want. If it's skirts you wear the most, then maybe something like I have from Zara, the over the knee style, um, it's a bit more fitted and looks really good with short or longer skirts. Or if you're more of a trousers person, think about the ankle boot style, um, what kind of leg length do you think would work with well with those trousers that you wear? Do you wear wide leg trousers? If you do, I think something with a pointy um, toe looks a bit better or a slightly narrower toe rather than like the welly boot style that's in or if you prefer a crop style then something maybe a little bit chunkier would work with those tucked in especially at the moment that's a big trend or more of a Chelsea boot style so really go into your wardrobe and figure it out maybe go on Pinterest and type in um, wide leg trousers for autumn see what shoes people are wearing them with really research the footwear that you think you'll get the most wear out of in your wardrobe that's a lot of wears, but um, I think it really makes a crucial difference um, to your wardrobe. So make sure you find a style that suits you. Tip number five is color palette. 
Find a colour that suits you and your, first of all, your lifestyle. So if you've got, you know, lots of kids and you're busy out and about making food, things like that, a very neutral beige colour palette's not going to be for you, but find those tones that suit you. Maybe you suit greys, maybe you suit turquoisey blues, maybe you suit navies. Find that darker shade that suits you and roll with that. And I would suggest buying a few things in those tones. You don't have to buy the exact same colour. I think that's where a few people perhaps panic a bit and think, well, this shade of grey isn't the matching shade of grey to this jumper in grey. So look for tonal things, you know, you can mix different tones of grey, you can mix different tones of blues, and roll with that colour and you'll find that getting dressed is so much easier and your outfits look so much more chic and polished. This is a really good tip as well if you are petite, um, to have a head to toe colour um, of the same tone. So find your colour palette. For me, I personally love darker shades like blacks, navies, um, but then also if I'm feeling a little bit more daring, I would go for lighter shades. But find your comfort zone with that and then um, you can build it up from there and slot in a few pieces of similar tones. Okay, so this is my penultimate tip and it is find things in unusual cuts and shapes that are still classics and basics. So this I'd say, I wouldn't particularly say it's a skill, but I would say it's something that requires a little bit more effort. To me, there isn't just one style of great polar neck jumper. There are endless styles. First of all, you need to make sure the style suits you. And then I'd look for little bits of extra detail. How is it cut? What are the details on the sleeves? Does it make it look cheap? What's the neckline? Does the neckline make it look cheaper? Um, sometimes if you have a chunkier, um, if you're looking for a polar neck, for example, and you have a chunkier one, I think that sometimes looks more expensive than if you've got one of those really tight um, ones that kind of cut you off here. Personally, I think that's the case. If you're looking for a basic, goes with everything, trench coat, look for sleeve details, maybe look for a bit of detail around the back. These are the tips that I think make an outfit look really expensive. It doesn't necessarily have to cost any more, but you just need to be a little bit more selective about the pieces you choose. Say, for example, you're looking for a black jumper. Maybe go for something with a puff sleeve or sleeve detail, a bit of detail around the neck, something that just makes it stand out or something you think's really been considered because that one piece can really make or break your outfit and really draw the eye in. So definitely consider buying a classic but looking for those subtle details that really make a difference. This shirt, for example, it's got these amazing sleeves like this and it just adds that bit of extra detail that other white shirts don't provide. Finally, an easy and free hack to looking chic in autumn is to match your jumper to your coat. This is so simple, everyone can do it, but if you have a nice, I don't know, navy coat, a lovely matching navy jumper just works so well. I just think it looks so expensive. It's a fail safe way, I think, to look expensive. If you want to go all out, like I was talking before, with your colour palette, then find some trousers that match as well and it just really creates that seamless finish. But I think if you're going to focus on one aspect, make it the top matching the jacket. The same would work with a blazer if you've got black round neck top and then a black blazer over the top. I just think that is so chic. It's free, it's easy um, and something we can all do to look more expensive. And then you can add your jewelry to that to add a bit of personality. So thank you so much for watching. Please, please let me know if you've got any ideas and suggestions for other videos or things you'd like me to include in other videos. I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel. That would really mean so much. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, just so I know, is it useful, is it not? And also let me know if you've got any tips, because um, we can all learn from each other. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.